we go out somewhere? Take the car together? Weren't you just saying there's a lot of people out? Yes, but it's nice out, too. Oh, yeah. So about that news... Let's talk about it over dinner. Okay, you drive. I call shotgun! I'm the only one who can drive. And we're very appreciative. I'm looking forward to removing my tire chains. It's a little warmer today, so the snow is starting to let up. Finally. It's about time! I gotta get going. I'm gonna go pick up my books for the semester. Sounds good. Wanna meet up for lunch sometime this afternoon? Gotta enjoy our time away from classes while it lasts. Oh! Actually, I was planning to meet with the club at the cafe afterwards. Sorry. Sometime before classes start again, though, for sure. Yeah, sure. Offers open for you, too? Got any lunch plans? Sorry, Haley. The club fair coming up is going to be a big deal for us, given the state of things. It's probably for the best I get that squared away while I'm on campus today. I owe you a meal soon. Hold me to it. Let me know if any restaurants catch your eye. Won't say no to free food. Caprice gonna join us? If she wants to. Sure.
Cool. I'll let her know. College will open new paths for you, is what my mom had always said. I took those words to heart, despite my usual cynicism. Even as my high school friends drifted away from me over the years, and the stresses of moving out and living alone mountain, I continued to believe in them. Then came today. The meeting with the advisor was never going to go well. Academic probation isn't a term thrown around in good circumstances. Even with all that, a 1.2 GPA was a surprise. Five whole credits. After cruising through school before college, it feels like a bad joke when I repeat his coldly delivered words in my head. My heart sinking, I finally close the door behind me. A chapter of my life closes with it. Hi, Mom. Hi, Olive. How's it going? I just got back from talking to my advisor. 
What did he say? It's... I have a 1.2 GPA. Only five credits. Oh, honey. It's okay. This doesn't mean the end. I know someone as smart as my Ollie can find a way. If I pulled off a decent GPA and passed all my classes and managed full credits for them, I'd still end up short. He did try to give me some options, but... See? There you go! I, I don't know if they'll do any good, Mom. It's an intro art class and a creative writing class. He even said they're basically filler. It sounds like it's something you should try, don't you think? You could easily tackle either of those. I've never been good at that kind of stuff. You know that. You can only give your best shot. I think that's more than enough. You've been through harder trials in your life, and you've overcome those and you're so much stronger for it. What this means is that there's hope. I'll do my best. Sorry for putting you through this. Honey, you don't need to apologize. I know there's a lot going on. I know you're doing what you can. You always have me on your side. Your advisor wants you to succeed too. That's why he gave you this option. I know you can do this. I'll see you at work in a couple of days. We can talk about this more there, okay? I know it's easier said than done, but try not to stress yourself out too much about all this. Maybe you can make yourself something to take your mind off things. It's nearly dinner time after all, so make something nice for yourself. I'll try. See you. Bye, Olive. I love you. Just remember that tomorrow's another day. Love you too.
And from there, we will cover the Futurist Movement, which after its founding in 1909... Psst! Hey! Uh, yes. Caprice, is there something you need? Uh, just excited and ready to learn! Is there something you need? I need you to stay quiet while I'm talking, if that's okay with you. Yes, sir! Sorry, sir! Olive! Olive! 
Right, Olive? That's right. I'm Caprice. Nice to finally talk. Uh, yeah, so... So, listen. I'm the president of the art club here on campus. Well, not the art club, but one of the art clubs. The better one. Forget about that other one. In fact, forget I mentioned it. There's only one art club, and it's mine. And, you see, we're looking for members. Any level of skill will do. The best way to learn art is to work alongside your peers. Uh, hey. So if you're looking for help, there's really no better way than to join our art club. We're all pretty much good artists who can definitely teach you anything you need to know. I can even offer you personal lessons. That's a generous offer from the club president, you know. Thank you, but I think I'll pass. Oh! Oh no! I came on too strong. I'm sorry. Um, don't worry about all that stuff I said. I do think we could help you, though. I... I appreciate the offer. Really. But I just don't think... I'm not asking you to join. Just maybe come by sometime? Oh, I know! I'll set up a club meeting for you to scope out! I'll let the others know to expect you once we can decide on a date. No strings attached! I think you'd fit right in. Okay, sure. I'll give it some thought. Awesome! Trust me, it'll be great! Anyway, I gotta go. See you around, Olive! Hey, welcome to the Bell House. Party at one? Three, actually. My roommates should be in shortly. They're just wrapping up a conversation out in the car. Got it. Booth it is then. Right this way.
Hey, Millie, catch. It's me. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, right. Haley, Millie, meet the newest art club member. Olive, I'm pretty sure their name was. Pleased to meet you, Olive. She got you roped into this without even having your name down yet? She got a ride on her first go, at least. I'm not in the club yet, though. Just testing the waters. It's only a matter of time! Uh-huh. Anyway... Enjoy! Just speak up if you need anything else. It smells great. Thank you. your name was? Olive. Hi. Sure, let's go with that. Don't suppose this is just you asking for a refill? Maybe in a bit. Just figured you wanted to chat with you staring longingly at us like that. Sorry, that 
textbook was giving me a headache, and there's not much else to look at in here. Studying at work is impressive, though. You must really be invested in the art class already, huh? Not at all, sorry to say. <clears throat> I've actually got another class tomorrow as a backup plan, in case the art one doesn't work out. Oh, really? What kind of class, if you don't mind me asking? Huh? Uh, just intro to creative writing. Some small filler thing. What?! Well, today's just full of coincidences. I happen to be the leader of the writing club on campus. We have our first meeting of the semester tomorrow afternoon if you're interested. If the art club doesn't work out for you, I'd be more than happy to help however I can with your writing course. Wait, 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 wait. Olive, the writing class is going to be a real challenge. If we're thinking of the same one, Millie took it last semester and I swear I saw her writing eight page papers every other week. You're exaggerating. Besides, that textbook Olive was poring over didn't look like much of a pleasant experience either. I can't argue that point. I can! I've had the same professor in another class. We'll hardly ever use the book. Either way, a little bit of studying and some doodling is a heck of a lot easier than what you went through. Says the woman spending days at a time stressing about inspiration and color composition. Lemon line. Thanks. Coming right up.
Olive? Olive Pen? Yeah, that's me. And you're... We shared a few classes back in high school. I don't blame you if you don't remember. I go by Darren now. Darren Baker. I remember. Uh, don't worry. Uh, you're looking good. And you're looking the same as ever. Glad to see college hasn't changed you much. Uh, well, I think I might be overdue for a little change, honestly. Anyway, are you here for the riding club too? Yeah, that was the plan at least. Something up? It's just more crowded than I was imagining it. Lots of noise and talking over each other. I poked my head in for a second, and that was enough. Eesh. Yeah, I can't blame you. Well, want to check it out together? I haven't been looking forward to it much either, to be honest. But having a friend there would help. Uh, oh, uh, no pressure, though. No, no, it's fine. It sounds good to me. It sure is convenient that you'd pick today to do this. It has to be today! There's hardly any time left to get all of this sorted! You couldn't even wait a couple hours? If you just signed the papers, we'd be out of here in 15 minutes, tops! Coincidence! You... knew I was coming. You heard Millie offer as much yesterday. That didn't necessarily mean you'd show up. I thought for sure you wouldn't have bothered. The person I was telling you about! Oh, hi! 
I'm Allison. Nice to meet you. Caprice has told us a bunch about you already. Eileen. Yeah, good seeing you. We're a bit busy now, though. The big guy's Wallace. Our newest member, excluding you. And the last one? She's not with us. And thank goodness for that. Name's Tanya. Thanks for asking. I'm with the writing club. Millie told me you'd be coming today. Didn't mention there being two of you, though. On that note... Here's my signature as assurance that I'll finish filling out the form after the meeting if it makes you feel better. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to actually have a meeting today, so I would appreciate it if you hurried up your pillaging. Anyway, come in, you two. I was expecting Olive, but it's nice to see someone else joining us today as well. My name's Millie, nice to meet you. Darren. Hi. You've got quite the fan club, huh? With all of that finally out of the way, it's time to begin the first writing club meeting of the semester. Welcome. This club's one of the oldest in the school, so we have a lot to live up to. Tanya introduced herself already. She's been helping me keep things moving for a while now. The talkative girl is Heather. So, it's not typically this busy? Oh no, I'm so sorry about the bad first impression. Things are typically a lot... quieter. Don't let the size fool you, though. 
What we lack in quantity, we make up for in quality. Here, look at this. The club can be a great source of inspiration and technical know-how if you'll allow it. I filled up this entire notebook and a couple others just in my first semester here. And how many pages have you filled out recently? Plenty, thank you. The club's recent downsizing hasn't had any influence on that. Millie knows her stuff, I'll admit that. But there's only so much one person can do. Uh... All I'm saying is that the art club, the entire club, would be able to help you. Unlike the writing club, our little circle looks out for each other. Don't drag us into this. Too late for that. Bold of you to hype your club up like that, given you didn't even bother to finish the paperwork to legitimize it in time for the fair. I've got a set of keys for a room and a bunch of like-minded artists. Being recognized as official would just be a nice bonus. I'm pretty sure I have a pair of keys that you commandeered for yourself. Hey, whose side are you on here? Thank you for offering to share your space, by the way, Millie. We appreciate it. Even if Caprice won't say so. Come on, not you too. You're very welcome, Allison. Anyway, if you're all done chatting it up, we're gonna need you out of here soon. We were promised 15 minutes, and you've already used up five of them. Yeah, yeah, we're going. Just give us a few minutes to finish grabbing everything. Wanna help us out, new kid? Huh? If you're being dragged into the group, you may as well start getting used to it sooner rather than later. What? No! I was gonna bring them to an actual club meeting! Show them the best we had to offer! I had plans! I also haven't really committed one way or another. Oh, I've heard that one before. Three times, actually. Jeez, what did I do to earn all this sass today? To be betrayed like this, time and time again? It's more than my poor heart can take.
It's fine. It'll get them out of the room faster and we'll have time to catch up after you're done. Win-win, right? Well, my original plan was to check out the riding club, so I'm gonna stick with that for now. Thanks for the offer, though. Well, can't say I didn't try. I really appreciate it. Uh, just making sure, you know I still haven't made up my mind yet, right? I just want to hear more for now. I know, don't worry. Now, where were we? Uh, could we talk about the club itself some more, maybe? You mentioned downsizing? Ah, right. That. Well, everyone has to move on eventually. It just so happens that last year was the right time for a lot of people. It's just part of the college experience. Well rehearsed and squeaky clean, all in a matter of seconds. You never fail to impress, Prez. As self-appointed club historian, I feel the need to point out that this great migration of yours only started after you took the reins, though. Thank you, Heather. No problem. As the last of the old guard, we have to look after each other, you know? A smaller club suits me perfectly, actually. I was a lot more anxious when I came in originally and saw so many of you in here. Yes, exactly! You won't find a better place to express yourself if you're looking for peace and quiet. But just because we're quiet doesn't mean we're an empty room. Tanya, can I borrow you for a minute? Hey, 
again. I want to give you two a proper introduction to Tanya. She's the most recent member, but she's already been a huge help. Millie Woo, you two over yet? I think she might be getting there. Good to hear. Hmm. Well. Still got some hang ups? I'm just not sure the club has what I'm looking for, I guess. Well, let's see if we can address that. What are you looking for here? Uh, help with my writing class, assuming I stick with it. Yes, yes, I'm aware. Anything else? Is that all? Then you've got nothing to worry about. You couldn't ask for a better tutor than Millie here. What about you? What about me? I guess I was just hoping that I'd have more people around to bounce things off of than just the leader. Oh. Hmm. kind of thing isn't really my strong suit. I don't know if calling on me for writing advice would be the best idea you've ever had. I told you though! If there's anyone who could single-handedly drag you across the finish line, it's Millie here. Right? Well, I'd certainly try my best. So? I'll think about it. Thanks.
Hi, Olive. So, managed to survive Millie's lecturing after we left yesterday? It was pretty quiet and low-key. Nothing that extreme. By quiet, you mean boring, right? Hey, now. Yep, it was boring and terrible. The typical writing club MO. to give them the time of day. We'll get you through the semester easy peasy. Right, Ali? Uh, yeah, of course. Right again. The club is nothing more than a waste of space. W hey! Nobody asked you! What? We're agreeing, aren't we? meeting. You'll come, right? We'll see. And all the ones after that? Well, I... Great! I'll see you then. I gotta take care of some stuff for the fair. What about food? Already ate! Bye! Why did you even come to our club when you were already playing house over with Mommy Caprice? Call her that. Just keeping my options open. Allison. Uh, hi. Sorry about Caprice running off. No worries. She seemed busy anyway. Fair prep? Yeah. We're all a bit behind schedule. So we've been kind of scrambling.
she's always so rude. Do you interact with the writing club much? Outside of yesterday, I mean. Every now and then. More lately with this fair stuff. Not like Heather is much of a club member, though. What exactly is the club fair about? I saw it advertised earlier last year, too. There's not much to it. A bunch of the school clubs set up in the gymnasium and try to recruit people. Mostly freshmen who haven't been poached yet. Millie offered to share her space, so we're sneaking in this year. If you have a way to get new people like that, why is Caprice so dead set on recruiting me? Caprice is really serious about the club, but you've probably noticed that already. Honestly, she's serious about everything she does. She wants to get every person possible. A dream of hers is to grow and expand the club beyond even the huge existing one. And... And what? To be honest with you, I prefer smaller groups. I'm fine with how things are. Nothing against you, though. You're free to join if you want. You'd love it, I'm sure. Everyone really is nice, and we have a lot of fun. Caprice is wonderful, too. I know she can be a little... overbearing at times, but she always brings so much energy. A little too much, maybe. Sometimes, sure. I get it. When I first met her, I thought she was pretty overbearing. I wouldn't really fault you for thinking that. She's good at what she does, though, right? Oh, absolutely. Everyone there is. I'm still learning, but they're always teaching me new things. But I guess what's happening is... Caprice wants us to be a legitimate club. A club that's official, real, whichever word you want to use. We aren't much of one right now. We barely nudged our way into the fair. Even then, we kind of cheated to get there. If I join, will that even change anything? I don't know. It'd take more than one person, probably. Still, we're going to do our best. You should do what's best for you, too. Thanks. Sorry for keeping you. I'll see you around. Hey. Whoa. Hey. You need some help? The gymnasium, right? Smart. Come on. You've been drafted. So, how'd the meeting go yesterday? You didn't hear about it? 
Oh, I heard tons of things. But I'm interested in your perspective. Well, I'm not even entirely sure what happened. It felt like a sudden whirlwind. Yeah, sounds like them. Hey, uh, where are we taking all this? Over here. You get the rundown on how they're sharing a spot already? More or less. I remember them packing up a lot more than just a couple tablecloths and posters, though. The art club is off turning all that into brochures and other promo material for the two right now. This is all just bare-bones stuff. I'm surprised Millie trusts them enough to handle that. Millie gets along well enough with all of them. It won't be an issue. Could have fooled me. Things are just complicated right now is all. You saw how they were at the diner. Are you talking about their friendly small talk or them trying to poach me from each other? That's why I called it complicated. You're committed at this point, right? You're gonna be picking one or the other? Yeah, that's about as far as I've gotten in my thinking, though. No particular feelings so far? Ugh, oh, tons of feelings. Most of them dread. It all sort of cancels each other out. Hmm. Well, good luck. Wait, what's up? That was just Millie's stuff. Gotta head over to the art room now. Want me to come with you? I've got it covered, thanks.
Wow, the art club was that bad, huh? Caprice must have left a pretty horrible impression for you to end up here. What? No, it's not that. This just seemed like a more... legitimate club. At the time. What is it we're actually meant to do? Beyond writing, that is. Show up every Tuesday and Thursday. So long as we have an extra warm body in the room, the club doesn't get killed off. Welcome to another meeting, members new and old. I'll get right into it, since I know everyone's busy. Everyone will do some writing today on a topic they'll choose. You can finish your stories off after the meeting if you don't find the time today. At the next meeting, we'll share our work with each other. That'll help us all gauge where we're at in our writing skills and what we'd like to focus on going forward. Miss Clark, how long does the story have to be? Only as long as you want. This isn't classwork. Lucky us. If you need any help, don't hesitate to ask. I don't know where to even start, to be honest. I haven't read a book on my own time since fifth grade. I'm better at more logical subjects. The arts aren't really my thing. The world isn't so neat that everything can be divided up into logical or creative sorts. A blank page is always a writer's worst enemy. But this is a writing club, not a workshop. We can work through it together. Tell me, where do you think a story should start? The... beginning? Wrong. A story starts with a plan. A story without a plan is just a meandering series of sentences. So, let's start at the real beginning. The highest layer of writing a story. An idea. Someone give me a one-sentence idea for a story. No details at all, just the elevator pitch. A knight saves a princess from a castle. Excellent. That's a high-level story concept. Ideas are quick and easy to come up with, but finding one you're excited about is the most important part. Now, down to the next layer. What three things should any story have?
Introduction, conflict, resolution. Thank you, Heather. Now, Tanya's story about the knight and the princess needs an introduction, a conflict, and a resolution. Darren, could you fill that out for us? Uh, I guess it'd be... The knight and the princess's situation is set up for the introduction. The conflict is the idea itself. The knight has to save the princess. Then, I guess the resolution is for the princess and knight to get married and live happily ever after? Almost there, but the conflict needs to be an obstacle to reaching the conclusion. Why does the princess need saving? What's in the way of the two being together? Usually, it'd be something like a dragon has her locked up. Good! But now this story feels a little too formulaic. How about for the assignment this week, you all write the story of the princess and the knight with your very own twist. Something to make the story uniquely yours. There's one last layer before we start writing in earnest. We have our outline, but now we need to attack the structure. How do you approach a big project? We need to take our story outline and break it up further into chapters. If you like TV shows, think of them as episodes, or maybe as different scenes from a play. How about three chapters, or just paragraphs for a short story, between each of the introduction, conflict, and resolution? You can change that as you go if things don't feel right, but that gives us a framework to hang our story on. There. Does that look like something you can write? I can kind of see it in my head now. Yeah. This whole process doesn't feel very creative, though. I mean, carefully dissecting a story into layers and components feels a bit clinical. So clinical that you might say it's almost logical. There's no clear line between creativity and logic. You need both to write, or make any sort of art. To paint a person, I imagine you need to understand anatomy. To write a story, you need to understand structure and how readers will think. Don't get hooked up on being as imaginative and original as you can. Just practice. Write badly. After a while, you'll come to intuitively understand why some things work and others don't. Like a driver slowly learns to work a car without thinking about how they're doing it. And when you're stuck, you can always talk it out. Giving each other feedback is the most important, and fun, part of writing. So take some time to plan it out, think of your knight and princess, and ask around if you're stuck. We can all share our stories next Tuesday.
Oh, before you go. Yes? Phone. I just wanted to take down your number and put in contacts for the others. Why do you have everyone's numbers anyway? Don't you meet twice a week? Ah, but that's not all we do. To welcome in our new members, I'm announcing the first group outing for the Reorganized Writing Club.